Hardcore Iron Man Limited to PvP Worlds. The most stressful series I have ever done on this channel. And if you ever kill my Hardcore Iron Man, I will reward you with 150 mil. We start this account off with a total level of 1015 and a combat level of 70. I was looking at my stats and I'm very close to 60 attack and 60 strength and with 60 attack I can wear Dragon Scimitar and I've already completed Monkey Madness 2 for so that's the goal for right now. Got a clue. Iron Kai Chill Trent. Oh my god. Bye. My current task is Cockatrice and one of the rarest drops on the drop table is Mystic Boots Light. So I'm gonna take it. High Ox for 6k. That's 55 attack for the Tree Slayer. And that is task completed. We got 20 points. And besides the points, we managed to get ourselves a bunch of Limper Roots, 36 Nature Runes, the Mystic Boots, and a Clue Scroll Medium. And that's the capture. Can we get lucky today? Uh, High Alcus. Currently doing some AFK training here at Thugs in level 2 Wilderness. Probably not the best place XP wise and drop wise, but it's a lot safer than the Chaos Roots and the Earth Warriors, which is just north. This place, no peekers are coming here. Hey, we got a clue scroll. What is that? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And the casket gives us Sammy Page! No, not today. That's task completed. Let's go back. Hobgoblins, uh, actually good. That's 57 attack, just 3 levels to go. So I'm going to do a test for you guys. I'm going to put private on and then put a timer on screen and then we're going to see how long it takes before someone fights me. And we start right now. We got ourselves a clue scroll. 9 minutes in, no one has actually found me yet. So we're going to do this clue scroll and we're going to take the private off. I actually thought someone would have found me by now. And the casket gives us... <laughs> So I was recently watching a Mortania only Ultimate Iron Man and he was buying raw food from this shop. And look how cheap all the food is, so I'm gonna stock up on a bit of raw food. And we got a casket, let's get some Sammy Pages. Nope. I think this might be one of the best layer tasks for me. Werewolves, level 88 combat, they are in a safe zone as well. And they can be safe spotted. I like this layer task. And the best part about werewolves is that they drop medium clue scrolls. From this casket, I'm calling Addy Fulham G. Exactly. For five Slayer, we can kill Infernal Mages. Never seen them before. That's 58 attack, just two levels to go. We got another casket. We got nothing. Can we get some more werewolves? Ice Warriors. Well, that's actually a good one. That's 59 attack, one level to go. And here's the glue scroll. So my prediction is three different type of Addy items. Two. And an ancient page. I'm actually happy about the ancient page. Is that a PK here? I see a PK here. Ooh. Holy Jesus Christ. Oh my god, did you guys see that? He came for me, and I managed to tap. <laughs> 62 werewolves, perfect, I love that task. We're gonna kill some thugs anyway. Boom, 60 Boom. attack. We can now use dragon armor, or dragon weapons, I'm sorry, dragon weapons. I'm going to need 100k, and I'm not sure how to get it, so I have to awk a lot of items. A few awkers later, and we got 100k. <laughs> Very nice rune med helm, we're going to arc it straight away. Since I managed to complete the goal of 60 attack for the dragon scimitar, I have now decided that my next goal is going to be 70 strength, so I can enter the warrior's guild and get myself a dragon defender. And with that, I need to upgrade the helm to a neat snot, I need to upgrade the gloves to Barrow's gloves, and I need to upgrade the cape to a fire cape. Oh, hello. Where are you off to? And we finally got ourselves a clue scroll. Nope. 65 blue dragons, that's a great task. And this dragon bone should be 44 prayer, 
We can now use Eagle Eye. I didn't even catch that, but 72 hit points. 48 Slayer, just two levels to go before we can kill Blood Vels. And there we go, task is completed. Sadly, we didn't get a single clue. There we go, 59 strength. And I'm back to my favorite money making method, the ham store room. And there we got the casket, let's open it up. Four salmons and a steel pickaxe. So my current slayer task is Harpy Bug Swarms. And they have a 1 in 128 chance of dropping a clue scroll medium, which is always nice. There we go, medium clue scroll. To be able to complete this medium clue scroll, I need to be able to get myself to miscellanea. And to do so, I need to have completed Fremric Trials. So I'm getting myself for the crafting, then I'm completing this quest. I have finally bought myself enough buckets of sands and soda ash for 40 crafting. So let's do it right now. One eternity later. And this should be the final molten glass. Bam! 40 crafting, we can now make ruby necklace, but most importantly, we can now start the Fremenic Trials. So basically, I've been doing some research. The quest will be around the Relica. I can't use any staircases. I can't take any boats. So if I get teleblocked, I'm pretty much screwed. If I get myself 30 construction, I can use this house teleport. But I'm only 12 construction, so I don't know if I want to get 30. I might just YOLO it. This is supposed to be a safe death, but I can't trust everything that's written on the internet. So we just gotta hope and pray. Oh yes, whoo, still alive. That's the quest completed, framework trials completed. Let's get out of here. Fort one, Fort one defense. I ruined my rune pure. Fort one defense, that's so ugly. But let's get out of here. We got no food, just a herring. This took me a few hours to complete, sadly. Huh? Level 73 is there. I hope it was worth doing the quest for this casket. It was not worth it. Let's play the hide and seek game. Bam! Private is on. Let's see if someone finds me. Oh my god, someone actually found me. That's 60 strength. Now just 10 levels left before we can enter the Warriors Guild. That task completed. 21 tasks so far. I wonder if I can use attack and strength boosts to enter the Warriors Guild. Oh, that's awkward. Another casket for the same page? Uh, nope. Since I'm at Canifis, I might just get a medium clue scroll from the werewolves. That's 79 range. And there we go, we got the clue scroll medium. This clue requires me to complete Sea Slug. Sea Slug completed. This final clue step requires me to get myself 38 smithing so I can make myself a steel square shield. Why are you bullying me? But instead of mining for the ores, I've decided to kill flesh crawlers, which drops a lot of iron ores noted. So we're gonna do that for the next few hours. And that's 100 iron ores later. There we go, 61 strength. 200 iron ores. We're gonna need like 60 more to get ourselves to 38 smithing. Ooh, 62 strength. It's 2018 and people are still mining iron ore to get themselves iron bars. I have been spotted. 35 smithing. 36 smithing. 37 smithing, one level to go. I'm not sure if we have enough bars for the last level. This, is, this might be awkward. No way. I gotta go back. The year is 2018 and I'm here mining for iron ores. Awkward! Bam! Two strength levels later, three episodes of scorpion and four smithing levels. And now we got ourselves a steel square shield. Very beautiful. I hope it was worth the struggle for this f casket because I, I've been grinding my ass off. 38 smithing for this. Good from this casket. So I'm here at Barrows on a PvP world on Sea Engineer. I just wanted to make sure you can get Barrows pieces on a PvP world since I was 90 kill count dry. And apparently I can get them. So let's do some Barrows on my hardcore Iron Man. I think we're at kill count 90 or something like that. 90 kill count dry. All we have gotten is a Dragon Med Helm on this hardcore Iron Man account. And we still need a Barrows item. Preferably the Carol's Crossbow. Let's go. Bruh. Dry. Another dry. There is no such thing as a streamer's luck. You know, my luck on this account must turn at some point. Not today. The grind continues. Nope, it's not. Can we get a drop before 100 kill count? Nope, we can't. Forever dry. That's 100%. Let's get ourselves a Karis crossbow. No! 
before we open this final chest for 100 kill count, I just want to wish y'all a happy new year. Yeah, karma doesn't work. The final hardcore Iron Man episode of 2018 ends with a total level of 1059 and a combat level of 73. So if you did enjoy this episode, make sure to give it the video a like. And during the month of January, I will only be playing my hardcore Iron Man. So I hope you guys look forward to that. And with that being said, peace! Oh my god, that was so cringe. I should never, I'm never doing that again.